Is the Chevy Colorado a good hunting or slash adventure rig? Let's find out. Hey, it's Tim, pickup truck plus SUV talk. I'm hunting here in Nebraska, just wrapping up my day. I drove the truck in to my hunting blind spot, which I'll show you over here, to just help me load up a little bit easier. But I'm also kind of thinking maybe now it's, I can still see the same spots inside the truck. So maybe a new plan is sit in the truck and stay warm. It is cold out there. But let's get to this. This is a 2023 Chevy Colorado Trail Boss. Uh, crew cab. I'll go over the, the details here in a minute, but this is Glacier Blue Metallic. And let's go in this video, I'll give you five good reasons why it's in a good hunting adventure vehicle, and five, well, maybe not. So let's get out first, start with the exterior, and then we'll do interior, then we'll, we'll talk more about it. Yeah. I've been driving it around all week, driving in the morning and back and forth. And I'll show you some uh, video of the headlights here in a little bit. Good morning. So this is the Glacier Blue Metallic. It is the new 2023 Chevy Colorado. Hope you can hear me. I'll talk a little bit louder. I don't know. My mic's on me and the wind's blowing and it is what it, it, is, what it is. Uh, Glacier Blue Metallic Trail Boss. I have the plastic black here. I have a little bit of a skid plate there and then I have air dam there. And I wanted to see if there's any corn stalks in there. No, I don't see any corn stalks. A little bit more of an air dam comes back. Let me change, change the view for you there. Goes back a little bit. So I didn't get any corn stalks. And I've been driving through the corn stalks quite a bit to get it around. I've been first year really hunting this property, so I kind of drove around quite a bit to examine like how far to go in and where the property line is. And I did see one buck. Let's take a look, see if we see the buck again. Uh, see the buck. Okay, so uh, Glacier Blue Metallic. I had the two inch slip, the bigger tires, um, kind of a wider stance. Although it's still a mid-sized truck, it still doesn't, it's still not that wide that I had a problem going through stuff. Actually, I got through a set of the, the um, lines, water lines, that pivot, which is nice to get through there without having to go up around or go through more gates and open and close more gates, which I don't like doing. I left it kind of dirty. So this is a, a week of driving and you can see, not bad. I mean, I've been driving dirt roads, driving out here. Seems like it holds the dirt pretty well. Um, as far as not showing it with this glacier blue even this doesn't look that bad uh trail boss sticker there and then we have there's your wrangler goodyear tires uh territory 18 i want to say what the size was it's uh 265 65 r18s come around the back and here is a color on the back chevrolet spelled out color down below your hookups for your trailer trailer receiving hitch drop the tailgate dampen tailgate which is nice um, I have this storage bin here, which I, I frankly, I just haven't used. I just, just not something I've, I've found a use for yet. But it's an interesting little tidbit that they've added to this truck. I have the spray and bed liner, lots of tie downs in the back. Okay, let's check out the crew cab. All these trucks come crew cab now. They all come with the same engine, 2.7 liter uh, high output engine. Got some dirt on here. It happens. Um, got lots of black, which is nice because look, I can just wipe it off, and that's pretty nice. Um, my rifle's up front. I have a worn winch. I can't wait to show you. That's a drill winch. You can use it with your drill. It's kind of cool. I have a lantern I'm doing a review on. Can't wait to show you that one. There's a lever here, and if I can do it one, let's see if I can do it with a camera. So you got to pull the lever, then you got to lift up. Okay, so I can do it one-handed. A little bit of storage in there. Um, not my, you know, my rifle wouldn't fit in there, so not really usable storage for me. Um, and I guess if I owned this vehicle, not just reviewed it, I would have stuff in there. But this is just a review vehicle, so I don't keep stuff in there. Let's go in the front. Okay, more of that plastic. Uh, I want to look at payload is 1,507 pounds of payload. And towing is, I don't know, the towing sticker. Huh, not all GM vehicles have a towing sticker. I guess this one doesn't. Um, I think it's right around 7,000 pounds. Uh, there is your trailer brake controller there. Pop the engine, we'll show that in a minute. See this here? These are all these stickers we get in Nebraska, and so it's all over the floor mats. These are the cloth seats, which I've got pretty dirty this week. Um, shifter, the new interior, and again, lots of black, which for on the con, you know, it's, it's, uh, looks cheap, but it's easy to clean, except for this. Does they have gloss black here? Why did they do gloss black here? and gloss black there it's like make it all make it all plastic i don't want gloss black in the off-road vehicle all right grab that sticker here and bring it over so and it's a 30 at six by the way somebody's going to ask that question there's your answer 
uh, Colorado Trail Boss Crew Cab, Glacier Black, or Glacier Blue Metallic, Jet Black Cloth Seats, 2.7 liter Turbo Plus engine. They had two conversions, now it's all Turbo Plus output. Uh, let's see, St standard vehicle price, 37000 Added the uh, vehicle trailering, had Trail Boss convenience package, which is the lift, easy lift and lower tailgate, the tailgate keyed cylinder lock storage, the Stow Flex, eight-way driver seat, and power lumbar seat and bed liner and the place blue metallic is an upcharge trailer boss convenience package rear slider rear defroster cruise control it's funny that cruise control is not standard now that's crazy to me uh 20 220 amp generator front license plate mount is 40 bucks rear axle is 342 so total vehicle price 41,095 I feel like I'm in 19 17 21 I've been getting right around 18.5 or so right in that range and this is built in Wentzville, Missouri. So, throw that back there. All right, there. There are the details in this truck. And so let's talk about my five good things and five not so good things that I would talk about as far as taking this hunting more often or buying this as an outdoor adventure vehicle. So number one good thing is gonna be our size, right? So I mean, like I said, I fit through some spaces over there. I can go through stuff. It's not a big full-size truck. I can get down some tighter trails. Now here in Nebraska, we have some pretty wide roads we drive on, so that's not really a problem. But if you're in a state like Pennsylvania, Wisconsin, uh, Michigan, you know, getting through those trails can be sometimes challenging. The smaller size, definitely a benefit. Number two thing, this also goes with capability a little bit, and the size is the lift. So two inch lift on this gives me a little bit the higher stance, more ground clearance, even though I do hit this air dam, I've hit the crap out of this air dam. <laughs> like I'm surprised I didn't dent it. Um, it's been fine. It just goes over stuff. I've climbed over the corn stalks, I've climbed over things and it's had no problem. That two inch lift is really nice. I like the bigger off-road tires, aggressive tires. I've never felt like once I've come close to being stuck. Then we put a four-wheel drive all week and I've been driving, like I said, all around the countryside. So that's not a problem there at all. Um, I also, so that's two, three, um, I, I still like the way Chevrolet does this. They made this actually boot a little bit bigger. So now I can put my foot in there and get a little bit easier, even with my hiking boots on. And so I can get into the bed without that many problems with the tailgate, um, up or down. So I do like that. That has been a great feature for GM vehicles for years. I think it's pretty solid, um, as far as just a cool, keep it simple system and number five i do like the interior setup um i like the way everything's kind of lower again i could probably just sit in here and hide behind the trees a little bit and just sit in here and still use my binoculars look around so um i do like the seating this overall inside the cabin lots of visibility big fan of that all right five reasons it's not such a great hunting vehicle um <laughs> I, I've had some uh, I've had some interesting issues with it, as far as hunting vehicle things. Like, uh, first of all, you know, rear storage room is not very good. This is not a very usable area. I don't know why there can't be more of a storage in there. Um, it just doesn't look. There's even a spot there that stops you from putting rifles through. So storage back here has been kind of a challenge keeping stuff. Um, organized looks like a hot mess because it is a hot mess um that's just not been great so that's number one i would definitely do some sort of aftermarket storage system or if you're by yourself or be you and somebody else take the seats out do something different number two thing i don't really like about it is there's no led lighting back here so a lot of times you know i'm i turn off the lights inside the cabin i come out here to get ready to go pitch black and i have no lights in the bed so again, another reason I have to store everything in the cabin because I can't see back here, nothing, only the lights. There's some lights there that shine down, but I don't want that much light out here. I don't want to light up the entire bed to get my stuff out. That's why I've been, I've been using my lantern instead because I don't want all these light, that light and I want some lights in the bed only. So I'd like to control the lights a little bit differently as far as how that goes. Uh, no, one, two, number three, and this is an easy fix, aftermarket fix, go buy them. Rubber floor mats. How do you have an off-road truck with carpet floor mats? I know GM offers something. I know WeatherTech offers something. Just go get that, because you're gonna need that. That's make a huge difference. Uh, number four, and I said this in the video and I was asking questions about this. But it's really kind of loud. And there's a ticking sound that you hear inside the cabin when this is running. 
So um, I was gonna pop the hood and I wanna see if there's any sort of like hood, hood covering or uh, sound deadening. Cause uh, yeah, it's, it's pretty loud. And there, you can hear the... No. See, there's no hood dampening there. They use, a, lot of a lot of companies use like a cloth or a padding up there. And there may be just a part shortage, but I don't see it on the sheet as getting like a discount. This is, again, a review vehicle they built. And so it could use some hood dampening there. You probably buy some aftermarket stuff, but kind of quiet it down a little bit. Um, that ticking... And we decided it's direct injection uh, for the ticking, but you see it rattling a little bit and inside the cabin, the steering wheel rattles a little bit and it's a little, a little just loud. I was just surprised by that. And you know, again, out here in nature, not around stuff, but it's a loud kind of annoying sound. And so it would kind of drive me nuts sitting back here. So that's uh, that's number four. You know, I would, I would definitely, um, it needs some, some protector underneath that hood to kind of quiet things down. Let me stop myself for just a minute here in this video. I'm back at the house, I'm editing the video, and as it happens, sometimes after you get done shooting a video and on the vehicle, something stays in your head. And for me, what stays in my head is, well, the overall cheapness of it as far as product planning goes. I don't think engineering really wants this. And I and I know the Chevy engineers guys are going to be a little frustrated by the sequence I'm doing, but... You know, when, when I look at it, things as a consumer, product planning from General Motors really frustrates me in some of their selections of options and things and why I can't just get like a basic cold weather package, heated steering wheel, heated seats together. But no, I can't. And so I'm on Chevrolet.com and I'm, I'm on the uh, a comparison tab. So I'm comparing different trims, which I, I frankly don't care about work truck or LT, but I'm, I'm looking right at the Trail Boss. And what I want to show you guys here is when you scroll down, and I go into interior, which to me, hunting or overlanding or whatever you plan on doing, you spend a lot of time inside the cabin. So the interior is really important to me um, from that side, from that viewpoint. So, um, you know, I have the standard plugs and standard stuff like this and remote access. The manual front passenger seat is standard. But I want to look at stuff as available power seat, available auxiliary interior switch plate. Okay, I, I guess I can give you that as available. That's not a big deal. Available adaptive screws. Okay. Advanced pa training package. All other floor liners are available. Just make them standard, guys. I Again, if it's a trail boss, you do not want carpet floor mats. Another thing that kind of frustrates me is I, I kind of go down through this. And again, carpeted floor covering is standard, which is, I don't know, it's just a little dumb. Cruise control is available, which I, I just, it's 2023. Why is cruise control not an op? It, it's still, stand, uh, excuse me, it's, it's an option. As we uh, scroll all the way down, I want to look at one more thing, and it has to do with right here. Heated steering wheel is not available in the Trail Boss. Why? Why wouldn't you give people the option for it? I, you know, and the heated driver and front passenger seats are not available in the Trail Boss. So I can't get heated front seats and heated steering wheel in the Trail Boss. You may not think that that's big of a deal, but I live in a cold weather state. And with those cloth seats and things, and they do offer, other brands offer heated cloth seats. Don't give me that. Heated cloth seats are actually pretty spectacular. And so I just, it's like, why would you, why would you not allow me to get it? Why would you not allow that to make an option? And why wouldn't you just do like a markup, like a $2,000 cold weather package? I know every dealer in, well, in my area. And Colorado and North or whatever, what kind of line of parallel you want to put on the globe would just get that package because every customer is asking for it. So why is that not even an option? That drives me nuts. And I also wanted to play the nighttime video. I I realized I didn't uh, put it in the video, so I'm going to throw this on this, what I call the stage here. Here's what it looks like at night inside the cabin. So I'm just driving down this dirt road. These are my brights are on auto. Let's do them on and then we'll do them off. So that we can see what that looks like. This is, yeah, just going slowly. I'm going to my hunting spot this morning just so I show you the interior. And uh, yeah, this is the uh, what it looks like here inside the cabin. Okay, so there you go. So let's get back to the final thoughts on this Chevy Colorado Trail Boss. Okay, number five thing, and you've heard me talk about this before about GM vehicles, but ouch. <laughs> there's, there's something, I sit like right here in the seat or I sit right there against the seat or something 
boy, does that hurt. Look at that. Look at that plastic right there. And so if your butt cheek is like my butt cheek and you tend to put your butt all the way back in your seat, there is not much cushion there at all. And you're right against the plastic right there. And so I've had, I, I can't imagine long distance with this because I've had sit, seating right here. I have to get out after a while because my, uh, my butt hurts from just that hard plastic right there. And it's just, it's just a little piece more of, of seat here, a little bit thicker foam, a little bit higher, a little bit across, could take care of that, but it doesn't. So that'd be the fifth thing that I don't like about this is just that hard plastic right there. It creates, creates some issues with um, the buttocks over time. So those are my uh, five good things and five bad things on this truck. I mean, uh, a few other little tidbits I guess you could tell you is that it drives pretty well. The tires do tend to, I've gotten sloppy a little bit in the morning and sloppy in the evening. I could be really tired, so I'm not gonna pass too much judgment on that, but it's not as tight um, on the road. It tends to wander a little bit. Um, I did find that the lights were okay um, I, I am able to use them with my gloves, which is nice, but they auto turn on and I and I just want them So I I've had a lot of issues with like start truck up and all of a sudden all the lights pop up I'm like no deer out there, you know turn the lights off and so I've had some issues with that and then We uh, we turned down the lights one morning because we were sitting over by the house with binoculars Just kind of looking around and uh, you can turn them down over here with this sitting here should yeah. Okay, now it's not working. I've had that issue too, where that's not working. And also I had auto headlights. I had to go in here and then turn them off and turn them on to get them to work. So there's a few little weird details. I'm not sure why things don't work all the time in the vehicle. And then uh, we were gonna, oh, I know what we we're, were doing one day. We were trying to turn the screen off. So we went to settings and then display display okay and then turn dis display off okay maybe I need to use my gloves but yeah yeah so I, there it goes now it's off but let's see that's not really off like I want it off off because again in the morning looking for deer I still have that on the screen. And so, yeah, I was a little bit like, I just want the screen to go completely black and not have anything on it. I don't care about this stuff because I won't, don't need distractions when I'm using my binoculars look around. So there's just some little small little additional tidbits, you know, a little more storage would be nice, be nice too. I have a little spot here I can put these in, but yeah, I guess that kind of works. Sort of. I like my uh, Silverado where I have the long-term review vehicle. I have a bigger spot up there for more storage, a little more cut in up there. But all right, that's it. I promise you that's all I got for this truck. Check out more videos over here, website down below. As always, thanks for watching. I will see you down the road.